SpaceX's Falcon Heavy was made for the purpose of deep space exploration. Being the second most powerful operation rocket in the world, it has a lot of potential within deep space exploration. According to the director of Kennedy Space Center, Bob Cabana, Falcon Heavy's first flight was a significant accomplishment they can be very proud of. However, many other big space agencies such as NASA, Roscosmos, and the U.S. Space Agency are strongly competing in the race to be the first to take ordinary humans to space other than astronauts. So, how high can the Falcon Heavy go in the context of achieving deep space exploration? In this video, we're going to be talking about one of SpaceX's most significant rockets, the Falcon Heavy. We will explore the features of this spacecraft and see how it stands against other competing spacecrafts. SpaceX has so far released three Falcon rockets starting with the Falcon 1, which made its first launch in 2006. Although it was successful at first, things started to go down because of a fuel leak and fire. After two years, the Falcon 1 finally had its first successful launch in 2008, which gave SpaceX the title of becoming the first privately owned company to send a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. This showed that with time, progress had been made and the company was able to achieve one of their goals. This led to SpaceX coming up with another record-breaking rocket known as the Falcon 9. It was given its name because of the fact that it has nine engines. Another notable thing about this rocket is that its first stage can be reused. In 2015, a Falcon 9's first stage successfully returned to Earth near its launch site. Both the Falcon 1 and 9 used Merlin engines. This particular engine was originally designed for recovery and use. Getting into what you're here for, Falcon Heavy is SpaceX's third Falcon rocket, which is launched in 2018. SpaceX developed this rocket to be able to use it for its own solar system transport missions and to transport astronauts into deep space. The company also hoped to be the first to break the $1,000 per pound to orbit cost barrier with the launch of this rocket. Another short-term purpose for this rocket is to be used for commercial and military contracts. The SpaceX company has already come up with a mission called Red Dragon to make use of Falcon Heavy as the launch vehicle. A major reason why Elon Musk found SpaceX is to colonize Mars by using several reusable spacecrafts, each one carrying around 100 and 250 people. He plans to take a step to achieve his dream through this mission. The main reason why the Red Dragon mission was established is to test techniques and technology which can allow astronauts to enter the Martian atmosphere. Musk said that this mission would require a launcher and lander, so the Falcon Heavy may be involved in this mission to carry payloads across the solar system, whereas the Dragon capsule will be used as the lander. As we all know, Falcon Heavy is known as one of the world's most powerful operational rockets. It's designed to carry about 64 metric tons, or 141,000 pounds to orbit, it has the second highest payload capacity of any current launch vehicle owned by NASA. This high capacity gives them an advantage over their biggest competitor spacecraft, Delta IV, which is most often used by the US military for sending large national security satellites into orbit. This rocket can carry 62,550 pounds, or 28 metric tons, to orbit. This is definitely a big difference. The Falcon Heavy is able to carry more than half the amount of weight than its rival. The Falcon Heavy has several interesting features that enables the rocket to have top performance. For instance, it uses two boosters. The first stage is made up of three reusable Falcon 9 engine cores, whose 27 Merlin engines together generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. This means that Falcon Heavy can carry the equivalent of fully loaded 737 jetliners to orbit complete with passengers, luggage, and fuel. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket. A total of $90 million was invested in building this rocket costing NASA 4% of their budget. So, we're looking at another affordable rocket made by SpaceX. Because of these incredible features, the Falcon Heavy will be the first rocket capable of sending astronauts to the moon since the retirement of Saturn V. Although, the Falcon Heavy won't be quite as powerful. 
we can compare these two monster rockets by their thrust and payload capacity. The Saturn V was a massive rocket that had a liftoff thrust of 35,100 kN and a payload capacity of 140 metric tons, whereas the Falcon Heavy has a liftoff thrust of 22,800 kN and a payload capacity of 64 metric tons. Although the Falcon Heavy has lower liftoff thrust, it has a convenient payload for a small rocket that is reusable. The Falcon Heavy has successfully completed a total of five launches. This rocket's first test flight took place on February 6, 2018. The fifth flight was conducted to go through with the mission, called USSF-67. It took off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Another flight aced by the Falcon Heavy took place on February 6, 2018. The Falcon Heavy's test payloads typically included satellites. However, on this flight, CEO Elon Musk sent his personal Tesla Roadster as the test payload on the launch. When asked why Musk chose the Roadster as the payload, he said it was for fun. The rocket followed up that test mission with two launches in 2019, before taking a three-year hiatus. As of yet, most of SpaceX's missions don't have much use of Falcon Heavy's strong power. NASA and SpaceX will come up with several successful spacecrafts. They are constantly brainstorming for new ideas. Among them is the SLS, which was launched after the success of the Falcon Heavy in 2022. This rocket is even more powerful than the Falcon Heavy as it has a higher payload capacity, being 154,000 pounds, and its height being 321 feet tall, which means it's a large rocket just like the Saturn V was. It's also built for the same purpose as Falcon Heavy, which is to take people to space and possibly Mars. The space agency will be working to configure the rocket specifically for each mission. The difference between these two rockets is that only one of them is reusable, which is the Falcon Heavy. This means the SLS is more costly in terms of launch costs. Two to four billion dollars is spent per launch for the SLS whereas the Falcon Heavy only costs $70 million per launch. Do you think the cost of the SLS is worth it? There's no doubt that Elon Musk is making steps to achieve his vision of space exploration and the mission to Mars. Do you think the Falcon Heavy would be the test rocket launcher for his mission? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below.